Thank you for watching this video on Informatica Cloud. In this video, you will see a demo of Informatica's Amazon Redshift Loader, which will allow you to load your on-premise and cloud data in applications, databases, and data warehouses into Amazon Redshift quickly, easily, and economically. The Amazon Redshift Loader can be used with both Informatica Power Center and Informatica Cloud, and will seamlessly integrate your data with Amazon S3 and then automatically move your data into Amazon Redshift. For the demo, I'm going to use Informatica Cloud to move data from a small data warehouse that I have running on an on-premise SQL Server database, and I'm going to load that data into Amazon Redshift. Now I start off here in the Amazon Web Services console, and we can go ahead and take a look at my storage in S3 where I'll be loading the data. And we see that my folder is currently empty. All right, and if we go take a look at Amazon Redshift, we see that my cluster is currently available. And if we go to SQL work sheet, or Workbench and do a refresh, we see that everything is currently empty. So to move the data over into Redshift, I go back to the browser and I go to the Informatica Cloud website and I log in to Informatica Cloud. I now go to the Applications area in Informatica Cloud and choose the data synchronization capability. And following the steps of the data synchronization wizard is now where I'm going to move the data from SQL Server into Amazon Redshift. Okay, so here's step one. I'm just simply giving this a name to keep track of this over time. And in step two, I'm going to choose my connection for my local SQL Server database. And I'm just going to choose a simple table that I'll move over, my opportunity fact table. And I simply select that table, and we see a data preview of the data that we're going to move over. We now move to step three. And here is where I'm going to choose the flat file that we're going to create to load into Redshift. And we recommend when loading data into Amazon Redshift to use the Amazon recommended delimiter of pipe and to not qualify your text. Step four is an optional step. If you wanted to perform filters before you move the data over, you could do that. But here in step five is where I'm going to map how the data moves from my local SQL table into Amazon Redshift. Here you see we've got two fields that have automatically been mapped because of name matching. For the other fields, I can simply drag and drop the fields as I need to. In addition to being able to simply move the data over, you can perform transformations on the data before moving it over. So for instance, here with my account key, I actually only want to grab the last six characters with this string because the first 10 are repeated. So I'm going to use a substring capability that Informatica Cloud provides, where I'm going to skip those first 10 characters. I now move to step six, and here is where we're going to invoke the Amazon Redshift loader to move my flat file into S3 and then automatically into Amazon Redshift. So now I'm going to go ahead and save and run this, which takes us to our activity monitor screen where we can see the data moving across from my local SQL database into Redshift. Now that we see that the data has been moved across, we can go ahead and take a look at my S3. And if we go to our folder, we see the file has been moved over. And if we now go to the SQL Workbench and do a refresh, 
we see that our table has in fact been created. And if we take a look at the data, here you see the 36 rows moved over and you also see that the substring has been applied to my account key. Thank you for watching this video on Informatica Cloud. For more information on the Amazon Redshift loader, please go to informaticacloud.com slash amazon-redshift. Thank you.